No way. No way! <gasps> Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're well and today ah, I'm so excited. I'm doing my first ever Aluma Crate unboxing. <laughs> I have literally wanted to have an Aluma Crate box for like all my life. No. <laughs> Ever since I joined Booktube or started watching Booktube, I have lusted after Aluma Crate. Like I have been obsessed. But I am now an Aluma Crate rep for the next couple of months. And I am just so excited. This is just such a dream. I do want to let you know I do have a code. My code is Meg with Books, and that is valid for 5% off three and six month subscriptions. So if you've always wanted an Aluma Crate like me, maybe consider going and using that on their website but let's just get into it shall we oh my god I feel so lucky like I'm so excited <laughs> by the way this is a new ring light and I don't think I like it I think I'm gonna send it back but let me know what you think if you watch my videos compared to other lighting Ooh! <laughs> oh okay 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 Oh, okay, okay, okay. I gotta, I gotta, I gotta, I gotta try not to look at anything. Okay. The theme is spellbinding stories. Let's open whatever this is first. <gasps> She's incredible. She's a beautiful person. Her talent and brilliance is beyond. This is so cute. So the first item is Forgotten Fables and Folklore Ceramic Book Pot by Chatty Nora. So it's just like, it's just hollow. So you can store like little trinkets and stuff, but this is gonna look so cute on my bookshelf. Like I already know it's just gonna go on my bookshelf and look so cute. Oh my God, what, what where am I gonna put it? Oh, okay. This is just gorgeous. Like, oh my God, this is exactly this design. Like, the vibes of it is my favourite kind of fantasy. Do you know what I mean? Like, the intricacy, the gold, the purple. Like, it just feels so whimsical and magical. On the back it says, A compendium of whispered tales from between worlds. This is gorgeous. Like, this is so nice. Wow! Oh my god, that's gonna look so cute! Oh just like... Ah! Oh my god, it's so cute. Okay. Wow, that's so nice. Okay, what's next? Oh my god, it's a face mask. Okay, this is actually great because I only have those like blue surgical masks and so I, I always want like a nice material one but I've never bought one. Oh my god, this is so cute. <gasps> Hang on, let me try it on. Oh my god, that's so cute. That fits so nicely. Oh my god, she looks cute. <laughs> Somebody lied to her several times and told her that she was fly, hot, and sexy, and beautiful, and she's nothing like that. She's nothing of the sort. Herblore Face Mask. Artwork by Stacey McAvoy Cornt. Inspired by one of our favorite witches, Cersei. Oh, cute. I haven't read Cersei yet, but I do own it. That's so cute. I've, oh, I got makeup on it already. <laughs> but I'm so happy. That's like something practical that I've needed because now I don't have to just wear those blue surgical masks. Okay, what's next? We've got like a Christmas tree ornament. So it's in the shape of like, oh, what's that word? An hourglass, that's the word. <laughs> and it says on it, books and letters in bottles cast into the waves of time from one person trying to save the world to another. So this is designed by Her Paper World and the quote is from How You Lose the Time War, which I've always wanted to read, but I haven't read yet. <laughs> That is really cute. That's gonna look very cute on my Christmas tree. But my, my family Christmas tree is usually chaotic as fuck. Like, it's, <laughs> we usually have like 10,000 ornaments on it. We just chuck tinsel at it. But that is really, really cute. Okay, I really like that. Okay, so this is the monthly collector's pin. Inspired by the Once and Future Witches, designed by Stacey McAvoy Cornt. And it says, the will, the words, and the way. That's really cute. I don't, I've always said this with book boxes, like, pins are cute, but I don't really use them. Do you know what I mean? Like they just sit on my bookshelf and look cute. I don't wear them or anything, but I think they're a nice cute addition. So I don't, okay, I think, what order do we do this in? I think there's two books. Wait a minute. I'm figuring this out. I'm like Scooby and Shaggy. I'm solving a mystery. There's two, there's two books. I was not expecting that. Why have you given me two books? What? I knew there was going to be two books in the December, but this is like a surprise. Let's do this one first. What? Okay. What is this? <gasps> no way. No way! <gasps> so we've got 
got Legendborn by Tracy Dion. We've got... What? I have been eyeing this up. I have heard so many good things about this. I think it is an Arthurian retelling, I'm pretty sure. I think it's about a young girl who discovers that she has magical powers and gets caught up with the secret society of Legendborn, which is uh, the descendants of King Arthur's knights. And I literally have heard so many people saying amazing things about this. I have been eyeing it up so much, but as many of you know, I want a book buying ban, so I haven't allowed myself to like consider it. But, oh my god, that's so exciting. I've really, really wanted to read this. That's amazing. I can't believe two books? What? <laughs> I'm so shook. That's so exciting. Oh my god. Let me know if you have read this because maybe I'll get to it soon. Oh my god, that's really, really exciting. So now it seems we've got like a hardcover. But first, one of my favourite things to receive in book boxes is book sleeves. So this book sleeve is... Oh my god, it's Stranger Dreamer! <gasps> oh, it's the library from Stranger Dreamer! I was like, oh my god. That shit took me, caught me off guard. I did not expect it. Oh my god, I love it. That is so beautiful. Oh my god. So I think that's um, Laszlo Strange there. And this is the library from the start of Strange the Dreamer. I love book sleeves. Like, I just think they're so useful. Like, I use them even when I'm not going out. Do you know what I mean? Like, not leaving the house. Because, like, we don't leave the house much at the moment. I use them to, like, store my bookmarks in and stuff like that. And this is, like, a kind of, like, it feels, like, pleathery. Is that the right material to describe it? And it's just so gorgeous. <gasps> I want to live in this library so bad. Like, I, I really do. I just want to live here. That's so beautiful. That's such amazing quality. And the second book is in it. But what is this, first of all? These are the Starless Sea book plates, which is one of my favourite books. It is... Oh, you can't see it. It's over there. And I can't take it out. <laughs> These have quotes from the Starless Sea. Like, a book is made from paper, but a story is a tree. No story ever truly ends as long as it is told. And we are all stardust and stories. The idea of these is that you can put them in your books. They're like stickers. You can put them in your books when you're like lending them out to friends and stuff. And put your name on them. That, that's really cute. I never thought of owning one of these. I don't know how much I use them. But I, do, I am starting to struggle to like know where all my books are. And like who's got them. So this would probably help. <laughs> and then it's time to find out the like the final book. <gasps> oh my god, I just hurt myself. <laughs> oh, but you want to really fight. So this is The Once and Future of Witches by Alex E. Harrow. <gasps> this is so gorgeous. I've heard so many good things about this. And I love the cover. Don't you love the cover? Like, I'm obsessed. And then we have these gorgeous red end papers. Um, oh my god, that's so pretty. And then I think it is also signed as well. Yeah, it is signed. I'm so excited. Let me know if you've read this. I have heard so many people saying amazing things about this. So the description of the plot of this is, in 1983, there's no such thing as witches. There used to be in the wild, dark days before the burnings began, but now witching is nothing but tidy charms and nursery rhymes. If the modern woman wants any measure of power, she must find it at the ballot box. But when the Eastwood sisters join the suffragists of New Salem, they begin to pursue the forgotten words and ways that might turn the women's movement into the witches' movement. Stalked by shadows and sickness, hunted by forces who will not suffer a witch to vote, and perhaps not even to live, the sisters will need to delve into the oldest magics, draw new alliances, and heal the bond between them if they want to survive. There's no such thing as witches, but there will be. I'm really excited! I have been in such a mood! for like a witchy book for so long. I have this image in my head of this book I read when I was like eight from the library about witches, like setting the kind of the, like the, nine, the 1800s. And I just want to relive that. So hopefully this will help me do that. I cannot believe so many of these items I would expect to be like the big item in a box, like a book sleeve, the ceramic book, and the fact that we got an extra book, like, we got so much. I am so shocked. This is absolutely amazing. Thank you so much to Aluma Crate for sending this my way. Like I said, I will leave my code link down below if you wanted to go and join. 
and yeah I just cannot believe how amazing this box was and hopefully I'm gonna get around to one of these two really soon let me know what you've thought of either of them if you read them thank you so much for watching I will see you very very soon bye